Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video with me, Oofle Spoofle. So you've probably seen those sci-fi films that have a space station with a rotating ring which is meant to simulate the effects of gravity, um, of course, while in space. And you might have wondered, you know, can I build one in Kerbal Space Program? Well, I mean it should be fairly obvious that you actually can, you've probably seen it in some Kerbal Space Program videos before. But um, in this video I thought I'd show you how to actually build one because yeah, I mean, a lot of people might not know. Um, before I do get into the tutorial, though, I should probably let you know that I'm playing on Kerbal Space Program 1.11. It should work on any version, pretty much, as long as you have the Breaking Ground DLC, because you do need the rotor parts. They are, like, an essential part of this build. But yeah, I'm just going to build a pretty basic space station that incorporates a gravity ring. So let's get started. So I'm just going to start with a sort of observatory module at the front here. I'm going to use the Capilla and then have a habitation module. Um, now where you want to put the ring itself, just have a fairing and then use the W key. Tap it twice to flip it upside down so that the fairing comes out this way. And um, go onto the fairing and disable the, truss disable the truss structure and enable interstage nodes. What that means is that you can go ahead and place your rotor uh, like so, I think you need to flip that around. And then, um, as you probably just saw there, uh, you now have these nodes where you can attach stuff, like here, and not have it connected to this rotor. That's really helpful, because that means we won't have to have another rotor spinning in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go ahead and use the science lab here. At this point, it's just up to you how you want to build this, but um, I'm going to use a science lab, and then, let's see, let's have a battery and um, some reaction wheels and you know what I'll put a solar array as well why not if you want to skip ahead I'll put a timestamp on the screen to like where you can go if you don't want to see this because I'd imagine most of you are here just for the gravity ring which is understandable but I'm gonna put an antenna here and yeah let's use these radial attachment points Make sure you have angle snapping on, by the way. It's just helpful in general. Um, we're going to rotate this so it's pointing outwards. And I think I've got it here. There we go. Okay, and let's see. Let's get this modular girder adapter. Have a girder piece. If I can rotate it. There we go. Um, okay, and then I'll just put some solar panels here. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this away from symmetry for now. What that means is that I can place these in symmetry and then... Uh, well, you, you'll see. I think I'll just have four of these. That should be plenty. This is, considering it's quite a small space station, you probably don't need this much power, but... Uh, you know. <laughs> Why not? This is just a demonstration, really. So there we go. Now we have eight solar panels in total. In fact, what I am going to do is, oops, I'm going to build this fairing. I think it just looks a lot better in general. So, have it go straight like this, and then once you have that blue text, just left-click to close the fairing. And there we go. Uh, if you want, you can change the color of the fairing, say, if you want to match the um, space station. I really like the silver one, but for now, I'll just keep it on the default, which is just white. Okay, let's start building the gravity ring, then. So, you probably know that you can only go up to 8-way symmetry in this game. Or so you might think, there's actually a way you can get higher numbers of symmetry. And basically, there's a little trick you can use to, in a way, just multiply symmetry. So I'm going to show you how to do that right here. So just place any part on the end of the space station. I'd rec recommend using these cubic octagonal struts here, just because they're nice and small, I guess. Um, you can alt-click a part. I like, not many people know this, but hold left alt and then click and that will duplicate a part okay so i'm going to place this in four way symmetry i'm aiming for a 16 way symmetry for my ring so i'll have 16 crew cabins going around uh you'll see in a second it's a bit confusing but um so how i'm going to get 16 is just by multiplying four by four and of course that gets you 16 so you want to place um four more struts in symmetry around this and then you want to take this whole structure and place it on the side of your space station. Anyway, so just take the outside strut 
and as you can see if you alt click it it will to duplicate it um i'll do that again make sure you have symmetry on but yeah as you can see 16 way symmetry brilliant so i'm gonna place that on the rotor so now we have one on the side like directly on the side so what you can do is place your crew cabin let's see does it want me to offset this by the way make sure you're on local rather than relative Okay, I guess I'll just um, rotate this crew cabin 90 degrees like so. There we go, okay. <laughs> so now, now as you can see, it's really coming together. Um, so make sure you have angle snapping on and then just rotate these. And as you can see, that's already looking really good. In fact, I'm going to offset this just so... Yeah. And now if we off offset the strut rather than the crew cabin, um, it will be clipped inside the crew cabin, which just looks a lot cleaner. And yeah, you should be able to get it into a, a ring shape. Just try rotating these. If you hold shift with angle snapping, it will do it in smaller increments. But it looks like I've got this just about right. In fact, I'm pretty happy with this. So that's the ring segment. Um, now what we're going to do is build the arms that connect it to the core. So on the rotor it has attach nodes. So as you can see right now it's on double. If I click that twice it will put it on quad. So for the arms you could use crew cabins if you want. I'm just going to use structural fuselages because they're lighter. But really it's up to you. And I think I can just get away with two of those. Yep. Okay. So as you can see it's not perfectly in line. Yeah, that's fine. Just offset your ring until it's centered. In fact, these fit pretty nicely. These structural fuselages and the crew cabins. There we go. Actually, not quite. Yeah, don't make sure you're on the offset tool. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm switching between these tools so easily, uh, you can press 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, which corresponds to these at the top there. So yeah, just use the offset tool and try to get it lined up properly. And I think that's that's about right. Okay. Um, you can take these off now because you don't need them. Um, now we need to auto strut things. If you don't have this available, what you need to do is go into the main menu, then go to your settings and enable advanced tweakables. That will give you auto strut and rigid attachment and some other things. Um, but for now, just worry about auto strut. So, because these crew cabins are attached to a strut, which is then attached to the rotor, um, you can put it on grandparent part, and then it will auto strut to the rotor. Um, you don't want these to be auto strutted to the core of the space station because that will mean the rotor won't be able to move. So, make sure it's um, connected to the rotor like so. And you can do the same for this fuselage. And then for this one, I'm going to put it on root part. There we go. And uh, while I'm here, I'm going to go into the fairing and uh, where it says fairing stage, just click that. And as you can see, it's no longer in my staging sequence. Okay, so we're almost done actually. What I'm going to do is go to the rotor and... I'm going to put an RPM limit on this because we don't want the gravity ring spinning at 460 times every second. So I found that 10 works pretty well with this diameter. If you have a larger diameter, then you might want to go with 5. But yeah, 10 for this smaller sort of one. Um, if you really want to be like pedantic about how fast it spins, and if you want to have something that would like work in real life, there's a website called SpinCalc that you can... Um, work out different parameters about it but it it doesn't have any effect on the actual gameplay so it's not really something you need to worry about but yeah that's that done uh last thing i'm gonna do is i should probably set a name for this i'm just gonna say artificial gravity station oh there we go uh, make sure you save it and the last thing i'm gonna do is set up some action groups um, so I'm going to put the rotor on action group 1. It doesn't matter which action groups you use, of course, but um, toggle motor power is the one you want. And then I'm going to do another one for these solar panels. So toggle solar panel. 
And there we go. Um, now, I'm not going to cover how to launch this thing into space. Hopefully, you know how to get something into orbit. Um, but just to prove that it all works, I'm going to cheat it into orbit. So, I'm going to put these launch clamps on. Uh, just to hold it in place while I <laughs> open up the cheat menu. And this is kind of annoying. Yeah, if you hover over something while you have symmetry on, it will go into 16-way symmetry. Which can be annoying, but just hit... R twice and that will get rid of it. But there we go. Uh, one last save and uh, I almost forgot. Um, just to make this thing a bit more stable, we're going to take these strut connectors. Make sure you're on radial symmetry and connect the arm onto the ring. Um, so we're going to start there and then just connect it to there. And we're going to do the same for the other side. Yeah, sorry that the camera angles are not the best here. It's difficult working in here. By the way, um, if you're wondering how I'm moving the camera around like this, you just hold middle click. It's only something you can do in the space plane hangar, unfortunately. I really wish they would add that to the vehicle assembly building, but... Oh well. So yeah, that's also why I'm using the space plane hangar to do this. Let me just get that nice and lined up. And if you want to be extra safe, you could also strut each cabin or each segment of the ring together like that not the best looking thing but it's more stable so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and click launch all right so now we have it on the launch pad um i'm going to press u to toggle the lights i just think it looks better and then you can do alt f12 to open up the cheat menu uh click on cheats here and then set orbit and by default it has it on uh, well, this orbital parameters, that's going to give you an orbit of 86.75 kilometers. Doesn't really matter. Just going to click orbit to get it up there. All right, so what we can do is, I think it was action group one to spin this thing up. Make sure you turn on SAS, by the way, because it does produce torque on the core of the space station. Uh, there is one way to counteract this, at, and that's by having a second gravity ring rotating in the opposite direction. And that will mean... You know, they just kind of balance each other out, and then the core won't rotate it. Oh, English. <laughs> the core won't rotate. But uh, you could also just use reaction wheels like I did. Anyway, I'm going to press action group 2 to extend my solar panels, and there we have it. So there we go. That's our artificial gravity station, completely stock. Uh, like I said, you do need the breaking ground DLC, but... Apart from that, there it is. So guys, if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. And by the way, I'm going to be using a gravity ring in my next video. Well, it will probably be my next video. It's something I've been working on, which is a, um, a round trip to EVE. And with a very big space station. And I don't want to really spoil anything, but just make sure you stay tuned for that. Because uh, it's probably my biggest project so far. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.